Are you gonna do the vlog? I was gonna sit there. Hmm? <laughs> Can we switch? Can I put you on another chair? Hmm? Oh, voilà, tu peux te mettre à côté de moi. Tu peux aller là. It's just like rays and oh, it's snowing. I think it's the first time I've seen snow this season, at least in Brussels. Can you just settle down so that I can start? Please. Is this how you're gonna stay? Hello everyone. How are you all doing? Um, I don't think I need to explain the inconsistency of my upload schedule, of my content anymore. I mean... Do I, do I really have to go over 2020 and everything? I mean, I think everyone understands, everyone's done being apologetic and uh, let's just say that we're all on the same page here because, uh, yeah, <laughs> it is now, I don't even know what day it is, I think it's the 14th of January, I think, might be the 15th, I'm not sure, this is how uh, my 2021 is going <laughs> at the moment um, but yeah I thought it was about time that I uploaded something I still have some bits and bobs uh, of snippets of 2020 and of early 2021 to show you but since it's just so I want to use very fancy words like this combobulated but I don't even know how to pronounce them it's all over the place uh, so I thought I would narrate the vlog a little bit and tell you how 2020 has ended for me and how 2021 has started so you guys are up to speed uh, if you're interested I mean if you're not just click off don't leave me a comment like stop talking about yourself it's a vlog okay I am um, I'm done apologizing I will apologize for the messy background a little bit because I am a bit embarrassed about it but Guys, it's been a year, a year in an empty apartment. I'm at my limit. <laughs> I'm very much at my limit. Bah. So, obviously with the holidays and COVID, things were a little bit different, uh, but I was very lucky to see um, my mom and my brother because since I am living alone, I was allowed to have two people over um, and those are the two people I saw on Christmas Day, didn't do Christmas Eve. But I did see my grandparents uh, before the holidays because my grandma, if you follow, follow me, if you follow me on social media, you'll know that things are a little not right with her at the moment. Uh, she's losing her mind a little bit. So uh, me and my mom, we took a little drive. She actually came all the way to Brussels to come get me and uh, we drove all the way to my grandparents to see them and we celebrated, well celebrated, I mean it was just my grandparents, me and my mom, small bubble, but we uh, went to see them to congratulate them on their 60th uh, year anniversary, which is crazy, and you know, just to see them and have a small lunch with them and chat with them. And because I, we knew we were going to be able to get together for Christmas and they live in the middle of nowhere so <laughs> it's not easy for them to be so isolated for everyone so even though it was different I was looking to appreciate the little things like even the small little ridiculous things like this one okay okay I've discovered this thing on my phone <laughs> that you can do automatic settings. I know if maybe I'm super late to the party, but this has me laughing every night when I plug this in and my phone starts getting charged. Nom nom. <laughs> He speaks to me! Okay, please tell me you find this hilarious because I was laughing so hard at first. Nom nom. Oh my god! And then with the new year came the news of the new COVID strain and Japan imposing all its new restrictions and I am once again 
uh, well, I guess it's just a continuation, but I am once again in a state of I don't know what's gonna happen if I'm gonna be able to leave when I planned to leave and honestly I don't it's not that I don't even care. It's just that I don't even feel it anymore um, I am just hoping like really really hoping that it happens because I am as I've mentioned at my limits with not being able to plan my life having been put on hold for an entire year living in cardboard boxes having sold all my furniture so it's not like I can move back in it's just it has been really hard like not being not having a job I'm I've been digging into my savings for a few months now since I lost like the last little side job I had it's all been a lot but you guys already know most of this anyway and I said I wasn't gonna apologize in any way I know it's been difficult for everyone and not just me but anyway New Year's came around um, and I have this little clip where I, you can see that I'm a little moody but all in all it was fine I was just a little blue because it was my first time uh, spending New Year's alone but I'm sure I wasn't the only one and it was necessary and it was what it was and in the end I was texting everyone like after midnight and it was really sweet and uh, all in all I was glad um I just wanted to document the fact that this is my first year where I'm gonna be alone like the first yeah it's the first year where I'm gonna be alone for New Year's Eve and it feels a little weird two years ago I was almost alone and then like last minute someone called me like I if you're not doing anything you can come to our place and I was like okay sure um, <laughs> um, so yeah It's happening! Uh, and I feel kind of weird. And I should have started this vlog earlier because my mom said, Hey, if you want to like order some nice food for yourself, I will pay for your meal. So I had the really nice um, falafel veggie burgers with avocado and like Greek yogurt and those like really fancy artisanal fries with this nice little spicy salt on top. It was delicious so you know like it's good and it it's gonna be fine I got my eye bags are still like that. Uh, but I'm definitely still um I'm definitely still feeling it if you're wondering what's going on here uh, I got this jumper for Christmas and it's not my usual style but I'm really trying trying it out because I want to try something different it's like this crop top jumper but the elbows are kind of poofy and also the sleeves are cute like this but it's very I'm not sh I'm just not used to this kind of fashion with the elbows I I want to like it but it's definitely out of my comfort zone anyway <laughs> I'm blabbering on um, I know I'll be fine I know that right now I'm feeling a little bit like not really confident um, I don't know if it's the fact it's if it's the new year blues or something or if I don't know, I just I don't feel very attractive right now. It's just like this feeling, you know. You get it. You, you look at yourself and like, Oof, I'm really not feeling myself today. It's been ongoing this week a little bit, but um, I know I'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna find a bunch of movies to watch. Like I said, I had that really nice meal. I've got Patchy for company. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep warm and cozy. And if yeah, I was gonna say if it's the same for you, but by this time, the time you see this, it's gonna be too late. So yeah, like I said, I was very un uh, unfortunate. I was very fortunate to see my family on Christmas Day on the twenty fifth. So I just have to make do with this to end twenty twenty. <laughs> the twenty twenty way. <laughs> we'll see if I stay up till the countdown. I don't know. It might make me sad. It might not make me sad. I don't know. Uh, it's like really the first time and it might not be the last but I'm gonna stop talking now well, It's really Starting to snow like properly before it was just like these tiny little white specks and now it's nice and The fluffy kind of snow really coming down. So that was the holiday. I must admit that I was pretty Relieved when it was all over but then my tonsillitis kind of came back and kind of never left which you might be able to hear It's kind of sounds like I have something in my throat So I'm gonna have to go check that out 
Um, it doesn't hurt or anything, it's just that my tonsils are super swollen and it feels weird and I'm putting off going to the doctor. I'll let you guys know if there's any update worth giving. Same with the Japan thing. You can just read the news, I guess, because that applies to me at the moment. I am just on standby. Um, honestly, um, I'm doing okay. Um, 2020 has really taught me patience, if anything else, and to uh, appreciate the little things and uh, just be optimistic and be more like present because it has taught me to be like day by day and then week by week and month by month though recently i have found that i am a little bit knocked off my feet uh and i'm a little like whoa i wasn't expecting that to actually add on uh, one thing is like my grandmother's health deteriorating and i have some complicated things happening on the side of my personal life that i won't get into so um i'm not gonna be like oh 2021 it's just I'm dealing like we all are and try to see the fun in things. So I'm going to leave you with the next clips which are little snippets of uh, things I did to cheer myself up and also at the very end we have the Patreon shoutout challenge which I had to do in full cosplay so I hope you will enjoy that. I was very tired when I filmed it, you will see. I do have a lot of ideas for videos, the only thing is that I'm feeling a little drained and my creativity isn't thriving as much as I'd like to but I'm just like I said taking it a little moment at the time and some days I feel like being creative and some days I feel like I should just focus on being calm and healthy etc etc anyway enough chattering I really do hope that you guys are okay and doing well and also you know like keeping positive and strong and I hope that yeah, I can bring you more fun news soon. Really hoping. So, I'm waiting to film content, which is why my face is on. Got my big woolly jumper because it's so cold as it is every winter. I think you guys know the drill by now. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm waiting for a package, two packages. It says that both of them will be delivered today between well i don't i don't have my watch on but like any moment now and i just poked my head outside and i i can see the postman's van outside but i don't know if it's like he's on duty or he's taking a break or maybe like he's delivering but he's starting with the streets way over there anyway i've been on edge all day because i have things that i want to film that might take some time and i don't want to be interrupted maybe you guys know what i mean like i, I just don't want to be interrupted um, but um, I thought I could maybe film a little snippet because I found this thing while cleaning up which if you've been with me for a few years now you'll know that I bought a bunch of these and I think Don Quixote back in Don Quixote back in 2017 like in one, in one of the first trips to Don Quixote or something um, and I thought maybe we'd just do it. I mean, I have my makeup on, but I have nothing on my lips right now. Um, obviously, I can't read, not just because I don't know all the kanji, but because it's so friggin... Oh my god. <sighs> Tiny! Uh, I can read things like... Ha... Haidoro jeru bak oh kanji kanji that is like so small that to me all the lines just mesh up together but i can also see that it's five to thirty minutes so um maybe if i do this the postman will come because isn't that like the whole thing with irony and waiting around and yeah so um i'm not exactly sure but it's if it's a hydrogel i'm guessing it's gonna make my lips beautiful so let's do this i'm getting so many messages at the same time and my nose is running obviously because it's so cool i thought i was not gonna have to deal with another winter in this apartment but i guess jokes on me maybe this is ooh. maybe this is uh, gone off ooh. i should have known it smells fruity oh they've kind of like slipped 
Oh, oh, okay. I guess this is the part I don't need, the white thing. Okay. <laughs> Imagine I have to open the door, like, and answer the intercom. The postman came. I had to take it off, but I had it on for a good 15 minutes, I'd say. Um, well, I like the smell of it. <laughs> it definitely is definitely definitely is a milk kind of like kind of sweet, but I can't explain. I don't want to, I don't want to say creamy, <laughs> sweet and creamy flavor put that in a bin but I don't feel that much more hydrated than if I would have like put some lip cream on but sticky but yeah <laughs> what do you want boy what do you want little boy oh little boy oh little boy do not like to be picked up and he's purring. Okay, he's not purring anymore. Lucky. What do you think? You don't give a shit, do you? You're like, legs up, let me go. Feed me. You already ate all your food and you threw half of it up. Which I had to clean. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. <laughs> so you'll have to wait a little bit to eat again. Yes. Good boy. <laughs> He's being picked up. I don't know, man. I think if they look really smooth, I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, I think they were hydrated. I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna approve this random, probably expired <laughs> lip mask hydrating thing from 2017. On to the next piece of content now that the postman has come. And I can finally blow my nose. Ugh. Hey, this is awkward. <laughs> I'm filming a whole bunch of things today, which I think you might have seen from the previous clip. Also, also, oh my god. <laughs> also, I have my grills in and I'm a little thirsty, so I'm gonna be a little lispy today. Right now, I mean, today. Um, but I thought we'd open my packages together because you, I may have inserted the clip or I may not. I know this vlog is going to be all over the place, but I mean, typical me. Um, but I placed some order, well, one order on ASOS, ASOS, ASOS recently uh, because I realized I didn't own any skirts and I have been wanting skirts all of a sudden and it was late at night and I didn't know I was bored I was not feeling great and I placed an ASOS order which I don't know what if it's a good thing or a really really stupid thing but um that's what happened I ordered a few skirts on ASOS and I want to open them on camera and I'll even I'll even do a uh, try on haul so there's not that many uh I've done a try on video once, I think, since I've been on YouTube and I hate it so much that it's privated now. I'm pretty sure I privated it. Uh, but I also did, um, got a few things off of Amazon. I know, Amazon controversial, whatever. I don't know where I stand or where it stands at the moment. And I don't remember what I ordered, but I think they're just like, oh my god, spider legs. I think they're just day to, uh, day, -to day life things that I need, that I use. So I don't think it's going to be very interesting, but let's pick it up anyway. Did you hear any of that that I said? I don't know. Ah. <laughs> but she's just looking at me like, my human is so weird. Okay, this was a gigantic box for this. Okay. Okay, these are 
my this is my um why can't i find the word it's all in in uh german because i order off amazon german for some reason i find it cheaper and faster for some reason even though there's like amazon uh, france and i think that's amazon netherlands which is kind of new anyway this is my uh, shower gel i can't stop using this i love it but especially this one which is my moisturizer like body moisturizer Betsy, do you mind <laughs> i'm speaking fast because i'm thinking like is anyone interested in what i'm saying right now but this is um the moisturizer I use every day religiously because I have dry skin. What are you doing? What what the f did you just do? Cats. Um, and uh, it's like pretty natural, and I think it does have fragrance in it though. So, but it's vegan. It's super natural. Like no silicone. Ninety five percent in. Um, natural ingredients but it does say fragrance on it so i don't know wow what like fragrance could be anything literally so is my neighbor looking at me okay never mind <laughs> but people have been telling me that my skin it look is super soft so um this is might be one of the reasons why every single day after the bath of the shower slather this on like um for some reason i ordered some miso paste off of amazon i like miso you can just add it to uh, like rice or quinoa in my case and um, it just gets a little flavor in and i feel like it might be good for my gut didn't prepare any tissues hang on i ordered some toothbrushes i considered just buying one because i'm not like I'm low on cash as usual, but the pack of 10 was cheaper. Is it 10? It's 10 and these are like the bamboo ones So I think uh, like BPA free, cruelty free, eco-friendly, bamboo handle and zero waste packaging and it's a pack of 10 I'm not gonna unwrap them right now, but I've needed a new toothbrush for a little bit and I don't want to buy the plastic ones anymore, so I am set, I think, until I leave for Japan, if that's still even happening. And the last thing, before I can give this box to Pachi, because he's waiting for it, there you go, boy, is that I bought myself a hot water bottle. Hang on, let me unwrap it. Hot water bottle, yes, it's a fuzzy kind. I don't really care what's around it, I just want a hot water bottle, and the previous two ones I bought off Amazon, break like and you wake up in the middle of the night or at the beginning of the night which might actually be kind of worse and you're just drenched in water and sometimes it's the cold water if it's the middle of the night or the end of the night or it's scalding hot water and your bed is flooded because this thing has a tiny rip inside and it's just like gone everywhere so maybe third time's a charm this is like the third like most soul and it is kind of soft but honestly i don't i don't really care but this is how I survive winter, guys. Um, I might be like sleeveless now, but it's just for the video. I have a heating here and I'm really cold and luckily my wig is somewhat keeping me warm even though I have to pull it down all the time. But this is what keeps me going when I'm sitting at my desk and drawing a hot water bottle because I have simple pain, cats in the box, simple pain glass, which makes this place freezing. And if I turn on the actual heating, one, it's placed in front of a window, so like half of the heat just like goes away immediately to the outside. And two, I just turn it on for like, I don't know, 30 minutes and my heating bill goes through the roof. So this is my alternative, kind of eco-friendly and cheap, cheaper because they keep breaking, so cheaper option. So hopefully this time it works. Now, Onto the ASOS thing, Jesus. Let's go. Skirt. Oh, I don't like that word. If my memory serves correctly, I bought, I ordered four skirts, but with the intention of maybe sending some back because I went with a different, like four completely different styles. Well, actually, no, there are four short skirts because that I have none of. I think this one is the simple one, simple classic black one. Ooh. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, fabric seems good. Oh, actually, it's not that simple. It's a little... Is that a hole already? Did I just see a hole? No, I must have dreamt it. It's a little more frilly than I expected. Um, I'll have to try it on to see. I think this is the one they didn't have in my size, so I took a size under, which might be too small, but it's an elastic, and my, I think I have, like, my waist is my the smallest part of me so my hips are wide but my waist it might work we'll see so got a black one which i thought was a little more simple but it's a little frilly put it there okay i bought a white one i've wanted a skirt for as long as i can remember i love tennis skirts and i don't think i've ever owned an actual skirt so i'm trying one today and see how i feel about it Ooh. It looks like the kind of fabric that will crease and like proof. It's already like super creased. You can't see it. It's the same. It looks like I think it's the same brand as the other one. So it's really sh um, short in length, but there is a short underneath. And I'm aware that it's a little summery and we're like in the middle of winter, but. I'm curious to see how I feel about it because I feel like this isn't exactly my style but like I said the word squirt pulled me in okay now this is the one I was really hesitant because I don't do prints which is probably exactly why I wanted to try it but uh, I'm not sure Ooh, fabric is I'm looking at it and butterflies see what I mean like is this something I would wear I mean the print is super cute the quality is decent like yeah I, actually the butterflies are really pretty and I didn't realize it was the same butterfly that I have on the back of my neck <laughs> bonus points but oh, wait is it is, this is a skirt right okay I thought it was a sh a sh I thought it was shorts for a second but will I wear it? To be seen. Definitely more of a summery one. Spring. Actually, well, yeah, I think summery, but I think I could pull it off. We'll have to see. This one is one, another one that was like, I want to try it, but I'm not sure. So we'll see. And the last one was some one that I really wanted. As soon as I, I saw it, I was like, I need this. I want to try this because this is definitely more me. You'll see what I mean. This is Bershka. And you'll see what I mean by very much me. And it's this skirt. I don't know about the half and half, but I saw these buckles. I'm a buckles gal. And I was like, this is so me. This is like, ooh, this little um, rock and roll punky from my teenage years is, uh, is squealing and wants this, so. It's a little uh, pleated skirt. We love a pleat. Half and half and with the buckle. So those are the four skirts. As you can see, like completely different from one to another. And I'm gonna try them on now and uh, we'll see. Turns out guys, this is a skirt. Two. <laughs> that was not planned. I actually I really wanted this to be a skirt, but I'm not gonna lie, I like the comfort of <laughs> my neighbors are 100% looking at me right now. I like the comfort of it being a skirt. I mean, sure, I still have to be careful not to show too much um, side cheek, but I kind of like it. I think this is a keeper, and I fit in the size, like I said. My, it comes to my waist, which is the, the smallest part of me, and my hips, like you can see, there's my waist, and then you got bam, my hips, so I'm really happy about that. What do you think, Batsy? Oh, looking his ass. He approves. Damn it, I like this one too. This, I thought it was going to be the same, but it doesn't have the elastic, like with the black one, and it's more, I'm more protected, like you obviously have the short 
coming down not with the other one where I could show a bit of side cheek this is the classic skirt, just not really tennis style the only thing is that it does crease there are, I need to iron this out because you have like some very prominent creases here um, obviously I'm sorry I'm showing a lot of skin right now but it didn't go with the black thing over it <laughs> Oh man, I like this too. It's really cute. Shoot, I was ex I really was expecting this uh, to not suit me, but I really like it. I think it's uh, I'll feel com I'd feel comfortable wearing this uh, without like a gust of wind going like whoops. I like this. On to the next one. I'm not sure about this one. I think you might have to tell me because it's very thin fabric. I don't even know if you can see through. Let me see. This is for editing me. Can you see through? <laughs> um, and it goes up really high. Like, yeah, <laughs> belly button high. So, not like I really don't like this part. But, I mean, obviously, it doesn't go with this. It, it is kind of cute. But I, it feels very flimsy, like one gust of wind and it's like, whoops. I want to like it, but I'm not sure I, if I would ever wear it. That's like the big question. Like, it's okay, it's cool, it's cute, but will I ever wear it? Last one, and I have high hopes for this one, <laughs> though I'm scared that it might be the, the one that doesn't suit me. Okay, I need to stop doing that or I'll flash my neighbors and you guys. I love it. I freaking love it. This is my favorite, like hands down. The quality is really good. It's Bershka, which I think it's a good brand. It's not really usually a brand I can afford. So I'm guessing it's a good brand. I don't know what this white label is. Believing that nothing is too good for us. Okay, but it's like very there. Like why is it there? <laughs> um, I'm leaving this top off because I want to show these buckles which are so good and I love it. I don't think I've ever owned a, such a good pleated skirt. Like not gonna lie, I really really love it guys. This is the one. The butterfly one I'm not sure yet so maybe you guys tell me if you think I should keep the butterfly one. I mean it's already paid for but if I'm never gonna wear it I might as well send it back and get some money back, you know? Because this, these were a bit of an impulse buy. Like, oh, I don't own any skirts and I really want to own some skirts because I'm in the mood to change my style up a little bit. Bye. Hi, I'm in a full anime cosplay. Actually, <laughs> full anime girl cosplay with my super super short skirt and this that it has become a crop top even though it's not supposed to be why you ask it's because i'm doing the patreon shout out challenge okay i'm super embarrassed so i have this, like this massive grin and i'm wearing my grills so i'm a little lispy but <laughs> this is what you asked for i think maybe you regret it i hope you don't because now i'm in full cosplay and i need to read your names out <laughs> wearing this and it's getting dark outside and my neighbors can totally totally see me right now so thank you to all my patrons for this month of january first shout out of 2021 i am so so very grateful for you guys you have no idea how much you have helped me through 2020 you have been all of you you have been my rock my l word you all and uh, thank you for sticking with me or like just passing by helping me out for one month or two i'm so very grateful if any amount helps as you know so thank you to aqua walter devil khan nanu shumi mary lou uh 143 richard fujinami fuka kenji swift natalie brittle deepak yadav and polydor thank you all all so much so very much my nose is running <laughs> it's a little cold <laughs> But thank you so much and I'm having so much fun with these challenges even though I do feel a little bit ridiculous and I keep losing my wig But thank you so much for for all your help and um, uh, See you in the next one